This video is sponsored by Bityard. With over 400 cryptocurrencies to choose from on their spot exchange, dozens of USDT pairs for futures trading, perpetual coin futures, trade commodities like gold, silver and oil, Forex and major indices like Nasdaq. You can buy crypto from Bityard with over 50 different fiat currencies using Visa, Mastercard, Google or Apple Pay. If you like, you can use their copy trade facility, follow other traders who will execute trades on your behalf or become a copy trader yourself. So if you want a bit of that, click the link in the description. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at OMI or OMI or Ecomi or whatever you guys like to call it these days. You know, I, I, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I, I, I know what the chart looks like, which is absolute wrecked city. So back in the olden days, we were enjoying this. Let me just uh, close down the Telegram chat. Um, right, yeah, sorry, I get a bit confused sometimes with all that nonsense going on. So, so yeah, uh, back in the olden days, uh, this was one of the buys that I bought effectively down at these levels, right? And uh, it worked out quite well, and it was holding up pretty well. And then there was the move from, I think it was GoChain to the Ethereum blockchain, uh, and then it just dumped out the sky. Remember the buy the rumor, sell the news events? You know, when people talk about mainnets, mainnet! Mainnet's coming, mainnet. We've got to buy mainnet's coming. Or like, there's a burn. The burn is coming. There's a there's going to be a burn. It's buying. It's going to go to the moon. Normally, what happens after the event is a mainnet happens and it, or you know, it makes it swap from Go Chain to Ethereum Chain and goes just like that. So that's what it's done, right? And where's it gone back down to? Effectively square one, right? Uh, effectively square one. So I was talking about all the shit coins that I was buying the other day, uh, last weekend. This was one of them. So I bought this prior to this dump. No, right. These things happen, guys. These things happen. We're not all super traders, um, and we have to. You got to. You got to take. You take it on the chin sometimes. But with that said, it has basically come down to square one, and that doesn't mean that it can't go to minus one. <laughs> <laughs> or minus 10 right it can happen but when it comes to basically getting back in on this one uh, for those who haven't got it you know it's not for me to say buy or anything like that but I quite like the idea of this one working out uh, over a reasonable period of time um, from this particular level as it did in the past if we have a look at the chart here so we're on the daily we've got bullish divergence form on the daily you've got bullish divergence forming on every time frame so on you know and on, on in i suppose for what could be a decent bounce from here to potentially you know maybe maybe even doubling there is that potential it can do that now one of the main things that omi suffers from is uh is the lack of exchanges so you're gonna have a look over here i mean we're only really there's probably a few more on uh, you know available but you know with the with the hyper trader that i use which usually it, it basically collects all the um all the major exchanges uh, not not some of the smaller ones but all the major ones uh, and it's only really available on gate.io and okx which are decent enough exchanges but you know they're not top tier it's not top tier stuff really uh, and so liquidity is its main issue this is actually decent trading volume for what it's worth it, it normally trades at half of this and uh, this is this, this just goes to show the the selling pressure at the moment but yeah selling down at these low levels is in my opinion pretty crazy idea really it's all about buying down at these low levels i would say uh, with a look to hold it for a reasonable period of time so the from what i understand about the you know the swap from one chain to another you know it's gonna offer it the opportunity to move uh, from obviously go to to, to ethereum will allow it to potentially get listed on other exchanges um potentially potentially obviously there's a lot more to it than that but that's the general concept uh, and that would add volume to it right volume and liquidity is what you need now someone pointed out and it is true that actually you know the only market cap is about 700 million so it's actually quite high in comparison to other coins you know it's in the same league as like sxp or whatever but market caps could sometimes be a little bit of a uh, uh, a little bit misleading because we all know that market caps come and go uh, you know quite quickly you could have wake up one day with a market cap of a billion wake up the next day and it'll be half a billion yeah, these things happen right <laughs> because crypto is so volatile they're not likely to hold those market caps for any prolonged period of time but it is quite large so when we think about how high this could possibly go mm, the 100x kind of vibe that people try to sell it as and package it as is probably unrealistic although it could happen but i'd say it's probably unrealistic and um, what we would be looking at is a decent return 
potentially maybe even a 10x. Now, in crypto terms, people like to turn their noses up at 10x's, don't they? No, oh, 10x. I don't want a 10x. But think about what you think. Just think about what that that sounds like. You know, think think about what you're saying there. I'm not saying that you're saying it, but just think about that. That's that's kind of mad. Now, I I buy stocks shares some commodities sometimes you know i've come from that kind of background that's where i was yeah that's how i learned to trade effectively before i went into crypto mostly um and you know if anyone ever did a 10x in those sort of things you would be held up as a super trader 10x is a 10x right but we're talking about something with low volume here uh, at, an, at a historical low with bullish divergence on the daily the four hourly the 12 hourly uh, it's not really old enough to look at the weekly, but we'll do it anyway. I can't imagine it's very useful to see. Uh, and it's not. It's not really. It's, it's not very useful. In fact, it looks pretty awful to be honest. <laughs> not going to lie to you. It doesn't look very good. So when I was talking on the Telegram yesterday about you know I I picked some of this up in this dump. I picked some up at this level uh, over the weekend and picked some more up at this particular level. Obvious reasons. Yeah, you know, support, support. Now if it breaks down, it breaks down. It is what it is. No big deal. We you, you got you, you know when it comes to these altcoins, I always say, you know sometimes on a risk to reward basis, you're looking at big rewards. You also looking at big risks you're looking at a 50 percent risk to a you know a thousand percent gain that's still a good risk to reward but it might not feel very good if you're looking to risk 50 percent losses you know again this is more of an investment style trade i'm not looking for this to moon immediately despite the bullish divergence not really looking for that i am looking for it to be a decent entry however uh, for the long term to hopefully yield you know five to ten x out of it Again, you can turn your nose up at that kind of those kind of gains, but they're pretty decent gains to be honest with you. So, it doesn't have to happen. Like everything else, it really doesn't have to happen. Um, we do need more liquidity. We do really want some more exchanges. But this isn't a, a zero coin, really. Although, yeah, this chart can be misleading. Let's, uh, if you were to have a look at how many gains it's actually done in the past. It's done thousands of gains, even at this particular level, before it came onto these, I suppose, centralized exchanges like Gate.io and Qcoin. So, like I say, it's it's a bit of a wild card, uh, but when you're coming down to a historical low like this, um, and we're looking at the market, generally looking like it wants to pull itself back up and up and away over the period of this year, maybe even into next, sometimes low entries are the most rewarding, despite you know being... Uh, a bit rough when you first enter them especially when charts look like this uh, which is wrecked city uh, which it is there's there's no buy signals on it we're, we're looking at this based on historical reaction in the past you know we we did come down lower than this we had this big move up to this resistance back down to this support and all the way back up again so i'm not saying this is going to perform in exactly the same way i just think it would be silly or you know maybe a big regret to not try a little bit of it but remember you know if you go on youtube or twitter or whatever and you hear people talking about omi is going to go to a dollar i mean it could do but it would be crazy if it did you know we're, we're not talking 100x on this one we are looking for between five and 10x you know so this time round when this one uh, you know perks up and goes back up to this particular level you could think about taking uh, you know your investment out at this particular level uh, that would be your investment maybe a little bit of profit on top then the rest could just ride just to see where it goes see where it goes again i'm not your financial advisor it's not financial advice this is a uh, effectively my trade on one of the shit coins really because i'm going to call it a shit coin nothing should look like this generally speaking but uh, on, on one of the shit coins uh, which I was talking about at the weekend. So uh, I've added to this one at this particular level. It seems like a no-brainer area to do it. I am still looking for a 50% risk to a 10x reward, which balances out pretty nicely if you think about it. Um, and I am not looking for anything immediate, despite the bullish divergence and all these term time frames. I think, though, if I, if I had to, you know, if I, if I was a betting man, that we probably do have a good reaction from here. And maybe even a pretty strong reaction from here, uh, giving us a, 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 a decent, you know, hundred percent gain, maybe over the space of maybe a, you know, a couple of months or so. Market dependent, obviously. Market dependent. Right, I am going to leave with you there on this one. It's just a quick one. Not many people are likely to watch this. No one really likes this coin, but uh, it'll sit there on the channel for historical reference. We'll revisit it in a year when it has done the 10x. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.